What's good YouTube, it's your boy Tay here and I'm back with another video. I got a great stub making method. As you guys know, I used to run on two accounts on my no money spent in my main account and guys, if you watch my previous videos, I talked about me being burnt out. I came back to my main account and I've been grinding man. As you can see, we have got Mickey Mantle I have been grinding to get this and I'm gonna show you some tips on how to make stubs fast because I had to get him quick I got him I started playing on my main account like a week ago I think it's about a week or two ago but I've really been grinding like the last couple days and we got him fairly quickly so in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make stubs fast before we get in this video I'm gonna be doing a 20 PS and giveaway at 500 subscribers all you have to do to enter is hit that subscribe button it helps me out a ton and also hit that like button it helps this video get out to more people so more people can have a chance to make some stubs too. So if you do me a favor, hit that like button. It'd be very much appreciated. But let's get into the video. So some of the tips you're gonna hear, if you've been watching the channel for a long time, some of them are gonna be a little bit repetitive. I'm gonna put a card up for my playlist of a Market Monday. So some of these are in greater detail in some of the videos. So make you guys check it out. But I'm gonna give you a little brief detail what I did to make the stubs like Mickey Mantle. So the first thing I did, honestly, when the stage three team of families dropped, I've been grinding Showdown. And you're gonna be like, hey, everybody says grind Showdown. But Showdown is really one of the best methods of making stubs. And now with stage three, what they did, this is how I took a huge step in getting cards and getting a ton of stubs. So you see all these rewards, you get some packs, you get 2000 stubs in the beginning. And to mention, I started, my Phillies went from the stage one to stage three. It only took like a day to do. Um, you get tons of packs where you can, we have a chance to pull diamonds. I pulled a couple diamonds. I get balls and have it packs. You get a ton of packs. You get some stubs. You also get some players if you don't have them, but you have to get a ton of packs. But this like when the stage three happens over here, when I have the 5,000 stubs and I got the Mike Schmidt, got another 2,500 and balls and have it packs. But this is what I've been doing. As you can see on my team here, I don't have Mike Smith on my team. I just sell my cards. So as you can see here on June 30th, I sold Mike Smith for 71,000 stubs. So this is what I've been doing, honestly. I've been finishing the Team Infinity stage, getting stage three, got my player, and I honestly just sell them. I sell my players right away because I know when I was getting Mickey Mantle, I was gonna get some stubbers back so I can re get I can get the players I want anyway. So that's what I would say for you guys to do. Play showdown, get the cars. Obviously, if you like the person, you can keep them, but I would just sell them off the gate because you will get the stubs. You get a ton of stubs, and also their price is gonna keep on dropping. So you can get this, you can sell them off now, get them later on a cheaper deal, and you can still make profit off of that. So that's what I've been doing. If I wanted to go get Mike Schmidt now, let's see. He's 47 thousand stubs now so i would have made a huge profit just from selling them and getting them back you can still do this now they're going to keep on going lower more and more people are going to be getting these cards so they're going to keep on dropping so that will be my first tip to you guys is play showdown you get a ton of stubs a ton of packs you have chances of pulling diamonds maybe you can get a mic trial and get lucky but you, if you don't you can use them for exchanges and if you need me to drop a video on how to beat showdown let me know in the comment section which one are you struggling with? And I will try to get a video out on it because Showdown has been pretty easy for me. And it's an easy way for me to make stubs. I, I made at least like 100, 100K doing Showdown by itself with these cards. Like Mike Schmidt made me 71,000 by himself. Like if you do him right now, you can still get 47,000 stubs. So like you can get a ton of stubs from doing Showdown now. Even the bad cards that you don't like. So let's see. See if you don't like like Andre Dawson or something. Like say you already have Mickey Mantle. You can just do this Andre Dawson. Sell them off. Make 33,000 stubs just like that. And I keep on doing that with the cards you don't like. Sell them off and make your stubs. So that's what I've been really doing. That made me a huge chunk of stubs very early so I can get the cards I needed. The next thing I've been doing is obviously flipping. I flip to get the stubs I need. You can make a ton of stubs flipping. It just takes a long time. I also talk about in multiple market Mondays, but this is the things I've been doing. So I've been going at the guys for good gaps. So like you see Manny Machado right here, pretty nice gap. Can make it run like 300 stuff from them. And that's basically what I've been doing. I've been going after guys like this while I've been doing showdown. So I'm kind of making stubs while I'm making stubs by doing showdown. And like Manny Machado, so just like that, put him right back on the market. Maybe a quick 300 stub is just like that. It's pretty easy. I also go against these cars too. I have a pretty good gap. The only thing about this, it's hard to do it in a video, but you have to like 
really pay attention to these cards because you can make stubs off these but there's going to be people trying to undercut you so make sure you guys are on these cards you got to check these cards like every two minutes because you'll definitely get undercut but you can make a good chunk of stubs from using from flipping from these cards really easy like just king griffey senior is a pretty good pretty good card to flip you just gotta stay up to date with these cards like all these cards are some really good gaps you can make like 200 300 stubs per flip I mean, it doesn't take that long to do either. I like going after these cards. It's pretty easy to do. Like, this Chris Bryan is a pretty good example. You can flip them. While you're playing Showdown, like, play a quick mission. While you flip a couple of these, come back. You probably have, like, two to three of them already. You probably got, like, two to three already inventory now. And you can just flip them back and make a ton of stuff. Three flips, you can make, like, 900 stubs. Almost 1,000 stubs just like that. While you're doing Showdown, they have a chance to sell and get 20 to 30, maybe 40K stub. Just like that. Main Machado already so bang. Make a quick 300 stubs just like that. And also the next thing I was doing to make a ton of stubs, I was just, I was flipping equipments too. Uh, I don't really trust like these type of equipments, like the little uh, camo ones with the, like art on them. I just like to trust the ones that I know, like the actual bat. So for example, like this Pro Fit Maple, like it's a pretty good gap here. You make almost like 2,000 stubs from this, and basically you just gotta stay on. Like I say, the ones with big gaps. You just got to stay on top of them. There's going to be people trying to undercut you. And I'll just play showdown. I'll, that's basically what I did. These two methods go hand in hand. I will play showdown. But before I go in a mission, I will put some cards up so I can flip. And then after I finish a mission, I can go back to the market and see if I got any of the cards. And if I did, put them back on the market. Hop back in showdown. And I'm making stubs each time from both showdown and from flipping. So I made a ton of stubs. I had to get a couple cards too, so I'll just show you just what I did. I had to get uh, Scherzer, DeGrom, I had to get Nolan Renato and Cody Bellinger. And this is before like the prices were dropping. So I got all these cards fairly quickly. So you can really do this. It's not hard. Just make sure you follow those steps. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment sessions. I reply to everybody. so. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll get back to you. If this video helps you, make sure you leave, leave a like. And also hit the subscribe button to, to be in the giveaway. And yeah, man. And also, if you have any suggestions, you want me to do a showdown video of how to beat a certain one, the west, the east, or central, whatever, just let me know down in the comment section as well. I will get out as soon as possible. But I hope this video helped you guys. And I'm out. Peace.